There is one big secret that those alphas don't want you to know. Wait to the end of the video, you'll find out. I go through everything. Alphas. A Torah Travis rant. Wolves don't do this. And we've known that for forever. Let's see. So here's an article. And you don't really need me to be showing you all these articles. It's, you know, the idea that wolf packs don't actually have alpha males and alpha females. And it's entirely based on a misunderstanding. Here, there's plenty of articles about it. Um, it does, it's, not, it's not actually what wolves do. Okay? So... Keep that in mind. But, you know, maybe we're not talking about wolves. We're talking about human dynamics. I think even then, uh, in the human sciences, you know, social sciences, uh, a scientist also wouldn't say that this is what humans do. But if we're going by the argument that this is what humans do, we have to go over what makes an alpha male, right? So there's some prerequisites as to what makes an alpha male, at least according to our social structure. And the rules are, I think number one, confidence. You have to be really, really confident. You have to, you have to walk the walk and talk the talk. It can't be a show. You have to truly be confident. Two, kind of comes along with the, Confidence, you have to be a good leader. Uh, leadership is a big deal, especially if we're going with the whole, like, wolf mythos. You're going to be leading the pack. You have to have a lot of respect, you know. And three, you have to protect your peers. The betas around you, it's your job, according to this hierarchy, to be the leader, to be the protector. And that means your peers have to recognize you as the leader and the protector. It's not just to show you are the alpha. You are the leader. You are the protector. You have to fulfill those roles in order to be that. So, what's the problem then? Uh, alphas should not be concerned with telling others that they are alphas. Or that the matrix has attacked them. Whoopsie. Or be people that are abusing other people for profit, uh, for selfish needs. Um, and honestly, you shouldn't need to be explained the ideas of like red pill in the matrix and how that's completely ironic considering the source material, the Wachowski sisters, all of that. If you have to be explained that stuff, then, well, you need someone to take care of you. You have to figure that out for yourself and why red pill ideology and the idea that men are only worth money might be a weak stance. And if we're going with this hierarchy, you got to be strong. You can't be weak. You can't be like, the Matrix has attacked me. The Matrix has attacked me. You're like, okay. <laughs> um, so part of this idea that we're going along is that the alphas who claim that they're alphas just aren't alphas. You can't really claim to be something and then do something else, right? And the fact that you're telling other people that you're an alpha kind of suggests they don't believe it. It's weak as fuck. <laughs> so, like, let's... Uh, Let's take a, a look at one of the best examples, I think, of this. is Nick Adams. Nick Adams, the guy who has alpha male in his Twitter title. You may not like it, but I sit with my legs spread wide open. Deal with it. Accept it. Move on. Alpha male, out. He's having to say this out loud. Like, you can't just sit with his legs open and, like, and, like, live that way. He has to, like, bring it up to everyone else. Uh, and the, I think the funniest one is whenever he said, uh, 
Here. I am sick and tired of beta males and feminists trying to get guilt alpha males out of eating at Hooters. There's absolutely nothing wrong with eating at a Hooters on a weekly basis, even with the family and kids. It's weird. It's so weird. And then he, you know, continues. Alpha males eat wings and drink beer at Hooters with the boys. Beta males nibble on tapas at Spanish vegan cafes with their wives. I mean, everyone immediately knows how fucking weak that sounds. Here, here's a rebuttal. Interesting. I would think an alpha male would be confident and secure enough to have a healthy relationship with their wife and eat at a Spanish cafe, maybe even have some wine with her. But what do I know? And further, the Hooters waitresses themselves uh, penned, As a former Hooters girl, I can assure you only betas who like to think they were alpha males ate there. And we all laughed at you when you left. Listen, if that isn't the, like, just the embodiment of weakness and... The fact that he's having to say this out loud, it's all very fragile. It's all very not alpha. So they don't even follow their own fucking rules. You can't be an alpha male and do this shit. Which is why I think, number one, if you're an alpha, you do not need to claim the title of alpha. Everyone will just act like it. You don't need to wonder. You don't need to put it out there. People will be telling you that... They need your protection. They need your help. They'll be coming to you for help. These aren't people that are respecting him. He's not getting any respect. It's not very alpha. Um, number two, they don't ever need to punch down. If you're attacking people for what they like, like eating tapas, uh, you're not protecting people. You're not making people feel safe. You're not much of a leader. Again, contradicting their own rules um and as a leader number three you should be protecting the people that are oppressed uh particularly the people that get punched down on so again going back you can't punch down you got to be protecting these people and number four you can't have more than one alpha in a group according to your own logic there has to be a leader a dominant one it can't be a bunch of alphas hanging out at hooters together no. Nick Adams has a friend who surely laughs at him for having alpha male in his title. And that guy is more likely to be the alpha in the group because he's the one who's trying to corral everybody into doing the right thing. Like, come on, guys. Don't act like that. Don't treat women like that. The person who says that shit, the one that's correcting the bad behavior, that's the alpha. Think about wolves. If one wolf is out of line and the wolf... Comes, the alpha wolf comes in. This is a fraudulent notion. Keep that in mind because wolves don't really do this. They all check each other. It's a, it's a much different than this story, this fictitious version. But if the alpha male corrects the other males then the one who needs correction is a beta male. The one who's doing the weird shit that everyone's like, Ugh, and can't gather any respect, can't garner any respect. That dude is not the alpha male. You got to remember that this is all a fake notion of animal hierarchy. But number five, alpha and betas should be friends. The alpha takes care of people. Betas need people to take care of them by this logic. So it shouldn't be a bunch of alphas hanging out alone, being like, we're so strong, we're so muscly, look at our shiny bodies, we're so cute and handsome, and you guys are all lame. It would be like there's one alpha in a group, and they're taking care of the rest. Again, this is not how wolves work. This is not how people work. But in that logic, there would only be one, and their friends would be betas. And you wouldn't be telling them that they're betas, because you wouldn't want to hurt your system. You wouldn't want to hurt your community, you would want to protect it. And they wouldn't need to tell you you're alpha. You'd fucking know. So I think there's a lot to say in identity politics and uh, 
just regular old like conservative versus uh leftist politics if you're protecting people maybe you're more confident and if you're attacking people for being snowflakes maybe or being woke or like my ideology is being erased it's not particularly confident it's not it's not particularly inspiring rhetoric it's not something that denotes respect or uh, power in fact it's super weak to act like that so that's all stuff that you should keep in mind so number and the and the biggest thing is that if you're number one the final note the secret the thing that you've been waiting for the number one secret is if you're number one you never say it you never talk about number twos you don't talk about them competing with you you don't talk about how you might lose your position as number one think about mcdonald's and burger king this is basic marketing mcdonald's never posts ah oh, our competition this our competition that they just say best burger you know shit like that i'm loving it it's just they like it just you like it burger king's always like mcdonald's this mcdonald's that our competition very firmly in number two position so you don't talk about being an alpha so the rule is if you're an alpha you can't say it because then you automatically lose that position if you acknowledge being an alpha and have to tell other people that you're an alpha it, it's a contradiction you can't have both you can't have both you have to have people tell you you're alpha and you respond like this is just my role. You don't, you don't choose it. You don't choose being an alpha. You can't put it in your name. You can't rename yourself Toro Alpha Tragus and have it be who you are. You just have to be the one when there's, <laughs> there's a need for support, for strength, for an alpha. You fill it. You don't put it in your name. You don't claim it. Number one rule of being an alpha that they're not telling you? They aren't alphas. 